Hello. This is uh, a supplemental uh, video over three other videos that we've done relating to uh, this uh, book, uh, a hardware interfacing and control protocol, uh, which details how to uh, create a system of hardware, which uh, then programmed with uh, using a firmware and in this case, it's, it's dealing with the propeller chip, and we show in another ebook how you can do the same thing for an Arduino. Uh, and uh, once we program the hardware with this specialized firmware, we can then run different softwares to make the hardware different, do different things, and we use Robot Basic for that. Uh, but uh, obviously, you would like sometimes to control the hardware over a network, over a LAN, instead of directly using uh, a wireless link. For instance, in this case, this is an XP uh, transceiver, and we have an equivalent transceiver on the PC, and the PC can control this hardware to do different things. And we showed, we showed how to do uh, this, and we showed programs that uh, demonstrate this fact, like for instance, now this hardware can be pitched and rolled, and we have uh, a compass module, an accelerometer, and we have here uh, an artificial horizon and a compass and a depiction in 3D of the airplane as it pitches and rolls. And we showed how to do all that in different videos, and this is all detailed in this book. But also in this book, we detail the a system for uh, creating the same control. The, we're using the exact same hardware and the exact same firmware. No additional hardware, no uh, modification of the firmware. We have not modified the firmware here whatsoever, and we have not added any new hardware, the exact same setup, but we can now control it over a network. And in chapter nine of this book, we detail this. We show the topography here. We also show uh, the, uh, how the system is modified to, uh, to allow for the networking using routers and so on. And then we show the software required. And it's mainly software changes, no hardware additions, nor firmware modifications. So we now, are uh, we're going to this same software here with a slight modification so that we are going to we uh, we add a few this this software here we modify it by adding a few lines of code to allow for uh, using the network using a tcp protocol in this case and also modify the software, the, the previous one that you saw running. Wherever it says serial out, we now comment this out. And instead of using a serial uh, connection, we're going to use a TCP connection. So call TCP send command. And instead of sending the command over a serial uh, connection, which is using the wireless, serial connection, we're now going to send the command over a uh, network. So what will happen then is this control program is going to send the commands and receive the results over a serial, over a TCP network, over the LAN, over the Ethernet, uh, or a Wi-Fi link, or, or the Internet itself. Now, it will send that to this PC. This PC has a software, this PC is going to act as a relay. It has a software that will relay any commands received over the network from this control software and will be sent over, will arrive here, and then will be sent using the uh, wireless link. So instead of the wireless link, this wireless link here, instead of being connected to this PC, we are going to move it over and connect it to this PC. So now this PC has got a wireless connection to the hardware. However, it doesn't have any control software 
and it doesn't know how to control the hardware. All it has is a software here that are 17 lines of code to act as a relay. And it will receive commands from this controller over the network, relay them over the serial link, uh, while the serial link to the hardware, and the hardware will send the results again over the serial link, and then will be relayed over to this PC. The net result is that the hardware uh, doesn't know that there is any change. As far as the hardware is concerned, commands are coming and re responses are going over a serial link just like before, while a serial link just like before. There is no change to the hardware, no change to the firmware whatsoever. This PC then relays that information to the controller software the controller software, as far as it's concerned, nothing has changed except that it's now sending and receiving over a LAN network, over a LAN link. But as far as control, as far as the functionality of the program is concerned, it's exactly the same. So we're going to do this now. And once we run this software here, this is the relay software. It's a server software. If you notice, it says listening. That's now it's ready and it's waiting, waiting for this uh, PC to link to it. So we're going to run the software now. And this PC has linked already. And you can see it's saying uh, send, receive, send, receive. And that's exactly what's happening because that's really what this software is doing is sending and uh, is waiting for, for a command from this to come over the LAN sends it to here over the uh, serial link, uh, receives the over the serial link the response, sends it to here over the LAN. And this all, that's what this software, what this PC does. This PC then, this other PC here, which is now moved across to a different country, to a different state, whatever, uh, is controlling this hardware just like before. And you can see the control is very effective and responsive. And this is all detailed in our book, A Hardware Interfacing and Control Protocol. There is another book that we uh, also, uh, it's an, an ebook only, no paper format, that is for the Arduino. And there's other videos relating to the Arduino as well, as far as networking is concerned. I right now have an Arduino connected to this PC here, to the relay PC. And what I want to do is show that I can control both hardwares, both the uh, Arduino hardware, as well as the propeller hardware simultaneously together. This is the Arduino hardware now. And this is the uh, propeller hardware. And notice there is here, this program is relaying and it's working happily. And it's relaying. I want to do the same thing also for the Arduino. The same principles apply. The only difference is that the Arduino has its own firmware and uh, the hardware is slightly different. Uh, simpler hardware. But once we run this, again, it's listening. And I'm going to go here to this PC and run. Notice this is running simultaneously. I'm not going to stop this running. Let's move it to the side. And here is the software for the Arduino. And I'm going to make the Arduino uh, play music. So this is the Arduino playing music, and this is its program running. And at the same time, we have this so we have. The Arduino being controlled, we have the propeller being controlled, 
all simultaneously at the same time. Thank you for watching and please see our other videos.